LeBron James, Cristiano Ronaldo, Donald Trump, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett. Tell me one thing that's common amongst them. They have all reached the epitome of success. You might not like them, but there is one thing that we can all agree upon. They have reached the very highest level of success and stayed there for a prolonged time. They have reached levels that we once thought were not possible to be reached at. Now, of course, another thing that we can say about all of them is that they have a lot of money. But of course, being at the top and staying at the top for all that amount of time comes with money. That's inevitable. Now, if you've listened to all of their stories, there'll be something very common about their stories. And that is they trained their brains to get and stay at the top level. It's not a coincidence that they managed to get to the highest levels and stay at the highest levels. You might say that it's talent, but guys, Talent can get you to the topmost levels, but it will not keep you there. You've probably heard about the stories of all the talented sports players, maybe musicians and all these kinds of things. All these people were talented, but because they were not disciplined, because they didn't train their brains to actually stay at the top, a lot of them fell off. Maybe after a year or two or three years, they could have won a lot of personal accolades. They could have made a lot of money, but a lot of them lost their fortunes. A lot of them went down the hill, went into addictions. Why? Because they didn't have their brains trained on how to stay at the top. They got corrupted. Their brains were not mentally strong to stay there and live there. So getting to the top and actually staying at the top requires a lot of brain training. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to train your brain to stay at the very top in terms of money. To have a lot of money and stay with a lot of money for a long time. But first, before we go into the how to do it, we need to first understand why is it important to train your brain. The first thing is to increase or build your self-confidence. Now this is very important because usually for you to be successful, you're going to have to do a lot of things that the biggest percentage of the population doesn't do. The reason the biggest percentage of the population is actually not at the top and almost everyone is a mediocre is because there's things that the rest of the people don't do. And when you choose to do some of the things that are out of the normal, the population is going to look at you as some crazy guy and you're going to feel like you're not normal. You're going to feel like like you're not fitting into society. So you require a particular level of self-confidence for you to actually trust in your decision and accept that, hey, it doesn't matter what everyone else is saying. It doesn't matter whether they are listening to me or not. I'm actually going to take this path and I'm confident about it. I know that it will work out. I'll give you guys an example. I personally used to practice as a medical doctor. I grew up with friends who are doctors. My family was so proud of me being a medical doctor because I went to school, they paid my tuition and everything but at a particular point i told myself hey guys i'm quitting i'd only practiced medicine for two years i told myself i'm quitting to pursue my dreams in other things now that was really really crazy and if i wasn't self-confident if i didn't have the mental toughness to actually do that i would certainly still be in the medical field because i didn't really want to disappoint other people my brain was not strong enough but because i had trained myself i had the self-confidence to actually take the divergent path and that's what has actually managed to get me to where I am now. Second is that training your brain helps you establish focus. Now, in the current world, everything is literally built to take away your focus. Everywhere you look, it's very, very difficult to actually get people's attention these days. So difficult. You'll find smartphones, you'll find social media, you'll find the television, you'll find the news. Everything is meant to take away your focus. Unfortunately, for you to actually make it to the top and have a lot of money and remain with a lot of money and be successful, you actually have to be very focused because making it to the top and actually making a lot of money in whatever field it is means that you have to become an expert. You have to understand whatever you're doing. And you can't become an expert. You can't become good at whatever you're doing unless you're focused. You're going to have to concentrate and focus. So training your brain ensures that you develop lesser thin focus for you to accomplish the goals that you need to accomplish to get to the top. The third thing training your brain helps you on is manage expectations and pressure. The thing about being at the top is that it's quite lonely up there. It's like a triangle. At the bottom, you have a lot of people. The closer you go to the top, the less people there is at the top. So it's very lonely up there and you're going to have a lot of expectations. A lot of people are going to be relying on you to actually make decisions. A lot of people are going to be relying on you to be the final decision maker. A lot of people literally look up to you. They don't know what to do with their lives and they're just waiting for you to 
say something and they will follow along. So that comes with a lot of expectation. If you're the CEO, if you're the topmost guy over there, everyone is looking up to you. It brings a lot of expectation up upon your shoulders and a lot of pressure upon your shoulders. And if you haven't trained your brain to bear this pressure and bear this expectation, you can crack because you don't have the ability to take all this responsibility upon yourself. Also, building brain training increases your motivation. It builds your motivation. Ideally, in the end, motivation is the genesis of all success. If you're not motivated to do something, you won't do it. You have to be motivated. If you have a goal, if you understand where you want to go, you probably have a goal of owning a private jet someday. That's going to drive everything that you're going to do. If you don't have a goal, it's unlikely that you're going to make it to the top. People don't make it to the top by accident. Usually, they have goals. They have a focus. They have a direction, something to direct them. And building and training your brain actually directs you towards something it gives you a goal it builds your motivation for you to keep pursuing that thing that will take you to the top training your brain also helps you build mental toughness mental toughness is going to be very important for you to actually be able to get to the top because first you're going to face a lot of opposers you're going to face a lot of bullies you're going to face a lot of people telling you that you can't make it a lot of people are going to tell you that whatever you're doing is stupid it's crappy it doesn't make sense don't follow it so those bullies you're going to have to have mental toughness to actually stand up to them to actually oppose them sometimes to actually push them out of the way because if you're not tough they're going to throw you down they're going to bully you the other thing that you're going to face is failures you're going to face a lot of failures that's the truth but you have to have the mental toughness to actually understand that these failures are meant to only build you up and take you higher so you're going to plan and use these failures as a stepping stone but if you're not mentally tough you lose a million dollars and then you give up then you're going to give up on your dreams you're actually not going to make it to the epitome of success the coach you go over to the coach and the coach tells you hey i don't think you can make it i don't think you're good enough if you're not mentally tough you're going to stop over there you're going to face a lot of complicated situations you know whether it's with politicians whether it's with your trainers whether it's with your mentors sometimes the mentor the person that you trust the most is that who's going to discourage you is not going to tell you don't do this you're going to have to develop mental toughness in order to go through all the complicated situations that you're going to face on your way to the top first you're going to have to set a clear financial goal now this is very important you need to visualize it properly visualize how much money you want to make visualize what your life would be like if you made that money for example you want to make let's say 500 million dollars visualize exactly how much 500 million dollars is in your currency second what kind of lifestyle would you live if you had 500 million dollars how big would your home be is that what you actually want do you really want a big home visualize it visualize the kind of car you would want to drive or the kinds of cars you'd want to drive visualize what you would want to do for your mom maybe there's something you've always wanted to do for your mom maybe you want to take them on a one-year vacation visualize that to the greatest detail have an idea of which kind of restaurant you'd want to take them to have an idea of which kind of places you want to go to for holidays if maybe you've always wanted to do a charity, maybe build a church, a community church in your area, visualize the capacity of the church, visualize the materials that you're going to be using to build that place. It's important that you visualize it to the greatest detail because this is where the motivation starts from. Once you can see it and you understand it, then you can easily later on create a clear path towards it. But if you don't have a goal, there's nothing that you can visualize, there's nothing that you're pressing towards, it's unlikely that that you're actually going to develop the mental toughness and desire to pursue or move towards that goal. But if you visualize everything, you see it each and every time, then you're more likely to move towards it. If you can actually have a vision board, this would be perfect. Yeah, for some people, vision boards work, others don't work. I personally don't use a vision board because I do a lot of mental work. There's nothing that happens in my life that I have not visualized. I spend loads and loads of hours actually going through everything in my mind. And usually by the time something occurs in my life, I've visualized it so many times and it won't come as a surprise to me because I visualize it so many times. So visualize it, you know, if you want to do a vision board, have a vision board up. If you're getting cuts from the newspapers, you know, things that you can print out from social media, put them up so that you can consistently look towards them and tell yourself, 
this is what I want. The second step in training your brain to this success and more money is to accept the fact that you're going to have to sacrifice. The idea in life is that everything has a price to pay. There's nothing that you get without a price. There will always be a price to pay and the price to success and having a lot of money is actually sacrifice. There's a lot of things you're going to have to sacrifice. You're going to have to sacrifice short time pain for long time gain, all the richest people that I've read about, these people sacrificed. People like Steve Jobs, he sacrificed a lot of time and a lot of money. You know, money that he could have used for some other things. He saved up. Same thing with Bill Gates. They sacrificed a lot of time in garages, working on their ideas, working on their efforts, working on their thoughts. Actually, I've made a video about the main things you need to sacrifice in order to make it to the top. I'll leave a link to that video right here. I think you'll like it. So you have to accept the idea of sacrifice if you're going to have to make a lot of money. The third thing is that you're going to have to create a detailed plan, a proper detailed plan with set deadlines. If you want to, for example, make $500 million, at what point are you going to have $500,000? At what point are you going to have a million dollars? At what point are you going to have, you know, $10 million? And how are you going to make this money? Which kind of paths are you going to be taking? Are you planning on robbing? Most likely not. That's not a sensible way. You could end up in prison. So what are you going to be doing? What kind of businesses are you going to be doing? Are you planning on saving your way to $500 million? It's highly unlikely, honestly, that you're going to save your way to $500 million. So what are you going to do? Create a detailed plan. Understand exactly how you're going to do it. Take every step along the way in your brain and then set deadlines so that you will be able to work towards these deadlines. Step number four is that you're going to have to take note of any limiting beliefs that you have about money. These are things that you're going to have to deal with personally. A lot of people believe that having a lot of money is a curse. People believe that, you know, having a lot of money is a taboo. You know, a lot of people will have a lot of connotations about having a lot of money. Maybe for some people it's borrowing. At some point you might need to borrow in order to get yourself to a particular point. Borrowing is not always a bad thing. Actually, for a lot of people, if you hear stories about people like Elon Musk, they made a lot of their wealth actually through borrowing. So you need to understand the art of borrowing. You need to come to terms with your beliefs about money. Take note of these beliefs read as much and learn as much as possible about these beliefs so that you can face them yeah you can face them if for example you believe within your heart that having a lot of money and that money is the root of evil then it's unlikely for you to make it to the top because every time you get quite a sum of money that you consider to be a lot then you're going to start associating it with evil and then you're going to start thinking negative and then just like that you lose it you won't be pursuing more or working towards that goal so you need to make sure that you directly confront all these connotations the bad thoughts that you have about money the next thing is you're going to have to turn your plan into a personal statement so you've already come up with everything that you want to do and you've come up with an actual plan with deadlines and you've decided on exactly what you want and you've faced these negative beliefs then you're going to have to come up with a personal statement this personal statement is something which is summarized it has the deadlines it's quite summarized i'll give you an example you can tell yourself in five years time i'm going to be making a million dollars every month by doing this kind of business and by that time i'll have built my community a church worth 500,000 US dollars. It will be this color and I'll be having consistent holidays, maybe holidays twice a year to two different countries, spending a month in each of the countries. You understand, eh? Be specific about it and have it within your brain and recite it consistently and continuously. You need to have this vision statement. Let it sink within your brain and let your brain normalize the idea of having it. If within your brain it's not normal that you can actually have two holidays of a month each every year, then you're not going to ever have it. But if you normalize it and understand that it's something that can actually happen and it's not out of the reality that you can actually face, then it's something that you're actually going to be able to work to words and actually make it come to pass. Step number six is that you're going to have to learn to live without your phone. Now, phones are terrible distractions. For anyone who is going to want to make a lot of money, you're going to have to get rid of your phone. If you read stories about all the richest people, they are not always on their phones. They actually will try as much as possible to not give out their numbers because 
if people are consistently calling you and every time you're answering a phone call, you're not going to focus, you're not going to do the things that you're supposed to be doing. If you're spending all your time on social media, you know, reading tweets, responding to this one's comment, responding to this one's comment, checking out this news, you're not going to focus on the things that are actually going to get you to the top. So you're going to normalize and accept the fact that you're going to have to spend quite long chunks of time without your phone. Accept it within your mind and actually start working on it. The seventh thing is that you're going to have to set boundaries for your time and focus. What that means is that not anyone can access you at any time and you're not going to find yourself doing anything at any time. I'll give you guys an example. I consistently have people calling me and they're like, hey doctor, um, I wanted to go and do this. Uh, I wanted to actually go and do it with you. I feel like you could be able to help me convince the people. I'm like, hey, I actually have things on my timetable. I have things to do. I don't just move and go to places randomly. I have timetables. There are things that I've set out to do and I always ensure that I do the things that I have to do in the set timelines. So you need to set boundaries, yeah? If people consistently have access to you, for example, you're working, you're in an office, you're trying to do some work, maybe you're working on your website and something like that, and then everyone actually has access to you and they can come and interrupt you anytime, it's highly unlikely that you'll finish your work. Work that you could finish in an hour, you're going to end up finishing in four hours, five, eight hours. Why? Because you're not focused. So you need to make sure that you set boundaries to your time. If you tell yourself that I'm going to be working between this time and this time make sure that very few people if any can access you so that you can focus and actually accomplish things so what you need to understand in conclusion is that success starts from your brain making millions and thousands of dollars starts from your brain if you don't train and prepare your brain to actually earn all this amount of money you will not get it so train your brain and so if you've liked this video I trust that you will like this video here about how school actually trained you to be dumb and broke. Watch it. Catch you very soon with another video. Lots of love. Bye-bye.